Hey and welcome to Amalgam Nation. This week's video is quite simply an unboxing of the Sadez gaming headset SA902. It's a USB headset for a PC. It emulates 7.1 surround sound and acts as an external sound card that doesn't need any other devices plugged into it. You plug it in and install the drivers and software and away you go. The, as you can see there's lots of details on the box. The box has a clear plastic panel on it so you can see the headset and then see if it's in good condition before you even open the box. The front panel of the box opens up and is held closed by a velcro strip or button or whatever you want to call it actually two of them uh, to reveal the headset and, and and other information the box is well manufactured and is very good and the fact that it's such good quality makes me feel even better about having bought this product not once but twice now uh, Sorry about the close up of my hand, but I'm doing this on an iPhone and it's just annoying to have to do things with one hand. Right. Yeah. There we have the headset and its wires. Okay, we have the manuals and the instructions here and the driver's disc and software disc. Inside the box is another piece of paper. Not really sure what it means. No, don't understand 99%. Probably 100% of what's in there. I just bought this originally because it looked cool. This is the second one of this item I bought. Ju I bought this one for when my current one eventually dies, as all electronic products and gaming products do from overuse or from general use eventually. Hasn't happened yet, but I have run into one problem. Those small red panels you see there in the headset are meant to light up, and after a, a nearly a year of usage, my current one of that headset, the lights have stopped working. Right now you're getting a weird look at the back of my computer, and I'm trying to show you the uh, USB connector for it. It's there we have it. It's moulded plastic with the Sadez logo and name on it. And the headset comes with a wire, with a corded wire uh, that's black and red. So it matches the headset and in my case it also matches my computer and keyboard. Although the glimpse of the keyboard you got there was turned off. The headset comes with a built-in mic and it will only adjust one way, it's not for, it cannot be used on the right hand side instead of the left hand side and to be honest I have never used the mic for anything at all. I haven't played any online games since I bought it but I enjoy the headset. The headset has great sound and that right there is the uh, remote control, the built-in remote for the sound control. Uh, part of my keyboard allows you to control the sound through the keyboard and see the sound volume. And as you can see, I've pressed mute, and the keyboard says it's muted. I pressed it again, and it says it's unmuted. Now I'm using the volume control, and the volume is going up and now I'm pressing down and it's gone down and once again back up in volume 